the default behavior of receiving the sick child is that the waiting of parent process becomes over we have written a a handler which modifies the value of a global variable which was originally 10 and we have added 5 to that value in this code we have defined the signal sig child sig child is also a signal which is different than sigint. The only objective of this signal is to let the parent process know that the child process has terminated, right? So what would happen as soon as the child process, so I'm forking here and I'm creating two uh, processes. One is the parent process, the other is the child process. The child process is being checked for over here. And when the child runs, it says that reduce the value to seven. And before it, the child process goes to the second part, the child is finished. It terminates because of this line return zero. But as far as the parent process is concerned, parent process skips this part because the value of PID variable in parent process is positive. So it skips this part and the parent process goes to this part. The parent process uses this system called wait PID and it mentions the PID of the child process. And what it is trying to do, it is trying to wait for the child process to finish execution without any further details, unconditionally in other words. It is waiting on the child process to finish execution. And as soon as the child process finishes doing this stuff, the parent goes over here. The parent goes over here and it displays the value of this global variable at this point. So what do you think the value should be displayed as a result of this uh, code? So we're not doing anything in the parent. We have not changed the value of val in parent, but as soon as the child finishes execution, it sends a signal to who? As soon as the child finishes execution, it sends a signal to the parent process that it has finished execution. And for the parent process, the default behavior of sick child is modified and the parent process is going to run this thing. Child, the address space of child is separate. The address space of parent process is separate. This global variable val is different in child process and it is different in parent process. So the changes the child process made to its val variable will stay with the child process and the child process is finished. It is finished. So it is gone. The value of val variable in parent process is still 10. Right? Yes. Got it? So as yes. soon as the child process sends signal sick child, which, is, which it will by default do because every whenever a child process terminates, it sends a signal sick child to its parent. Every time it happens no matter the parent is expecting that or not. So in this case, the parent is expecting this signal and it has, you know, modified the behavior of this signal to this thing. As soon as the child will terminate, the parent will receive this sick child signal from the operating system. And the default behavior of receiving the sick child is that the waiting of parent process becomes over. But now we have modified the behavior uh, of this uh, signal in such a way that now the parent process will be executing this command val equal to val plus 5 and the output would be 15, 10 plus 5, 15. So this, is, this line is being printed by the child process and this line is being printed by the parent process.